Hey love, so in the pre-shuffle I got three messages, quit holding on to the past, new love is here, healing, and I put you on a pedestal and I place you above the rest. No one else dare pass the test, your love, it's true, is truly the best. So I feel like someone from your past is holding on to the relationship the two of you once had, and meanwhile spirit is telling you to let go because new love is here. It's like whoever put you through a cycle of karma or injustice in the past is, you know, watching you heal and watching you overcome that past heartache and seeing you really blossom into your own. Some of you guys have really just gained some new level of confidence and this is all because of what you went through in the past. So nine of cups, past energy, like in reverse here just really signifies you thought your life was going to go a certain way and it went the total opposite from that. Someone you saw as your complete happiness, wow, 10 of cups in reverse. Someone you saw yourself building a family with and being your long lasting soulmate connection, it just didn't end up playing out that way. And three of cups definitely could have been a third party situation. Your person giving to multiple people, not acknowledging you as their main person, or if they were, they were someone who was interested in having multiple relationships kind of funny because when I was shuffling I saw polyamorous come out in the messages um it didn't pop out in the pre-shuffle but I saw it so for some of you guys this person was the type who wanted to essentially date a few people at once or like you know have their cake and eat it too wow so the sun in reverse you could have been dating a leo in the past realizing that your happiness was not with this person though because it's like they kept putting you through a series of tests like they kept putting you through a series of tests you know and like trying to see if you were going to stick by their side through the good and the bad that they kept putting you through and some of you guys could have just really had enough said you know like when's it time for you to be happy wow so we just had quite a few flip over let's take them spirits never have i had the nine of cups and ten of cups come out back to back with the three of cups and you saw me shuffling there you guys so a lot of reversals so yeah, this relationship that you had yourselves positioned in, it just was holding you back in every way possible. And it's like, if you haven't let go of this yet, you've come to your end of your relationship with this person and knowing that every time you go back to them or you forgive them or you try to start over, things just get worse. Things could get worse in your actual life too. Possibly as well, this person really blocks your creativity or your work ethic because you're constantly stressing about this situation and your passion is elsewhere you could definitely be meeting a earth sign capricorn taurus or virgo since we've got the king and queen of coins and if not it's like this is what your new love is meant to do to show you that you're going to find your true divine counterpart and you're not going to go through so much loss or experience so much like misfortune as you did with this past person they could have definitely been a karmic lesson for you guys but regardless if you're a feminine or masculine, like this is a true divine pair. And this is really beautiful to see because you guys are really deserving of a genuine love. You're deserving of someone that's going to really like have your back and show you what it's like to experience some good times instead of just like heartbreaks and betrayal. And this is what you guys are healing. So you could have really dated someone who... You know, it's like whenever you try to get your money up or you try to save or you try to put your all into work to gain some sort of financial independence, this person would do something to take that away from you. So they could have really prevented you from working somewhere. Some of you guys, maybe they wanted you to be a stay at home mom. And for others of you, it's like this person could have interfered with your workplaces, especially if you're someone who is seen in the public eye. They know that you're a star. Everyone around you knows that you're a star. You're truly meant to shine and experience some type of world recognition for a lot of you in whatever it is you're doing. And it's like this person didn't want you to be better than them. They have a major ego going on, this past person. And it's like they're going to see you with someone who may also be in the public eye. But the two of you are going to shine bright together because you're not trying to block each other from success. You're trying to essentially lift each other up. So that's when that ace of coins is going to come in for you guys. That's beautiful energy. And you know, it's going to be when you decide to let go of this past person. Whoever this new energy is coming in for you, 
man, are they going to ever be so protective over you? Like this person, if they know that your ex is still trying to come around or give you any grief in any sense, either in front of them or behind the scenes, this person's going to have no problem like putting them in their place, regardless if you're meeting a feminine or masculine. For a lot of you, this is going to be a more masculine energy. And it's like this person is going to lay the smack down, I'm hearing, on your your past person you know especially if your past person didn't value the qualities you have or like the work you did because for some of you you could be um someone in the public eye so you could be on youtube or you could be someone who does public speaking or you could be someone who has a podcast for others of you you could be an actor an actress and it's like this person from your past didn't want to see you shine brighter than them and whoever you're meeting now is going to really lift you up and it's going to be a nice surprise i think you guys won't be used to this after dealing with someone possibly for so long who just tried to tear you down and tear down your confidence and now you're going to see what it's like to really feel valued by someone you could be meeting an aquarius or you could be one and you could also be an earth sign energy here for a few of you, it's going to be an earth sign divine couple. You'll definitely know that's your message if you are an earth sign and the person you are meeting or just have recently met is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But specifically, this new person is going to show you that denying of, you know, like anytime you put yourself down or whatever, they're going to lift you up and show you that you are worth so much more than you give yourself credit for and it's because of this past betrayal or a snake that was in your midst that made you feel less than made you feel like you didn't fully deserve the opportunities coming your way but whoever this is as well they're going to want to support you in your endeavors if you decide to go for a part say an example in a movie and you have to travel this person's going to be right by your side they're going to want to be a part of everything you do and if they can't be a part of it they're going to encourage you and support you to go not try to hold you back whereas this past person say you had a casting call or an opportunity to tour for a public speaking event or as a musician or specifically any other type of like frontline career this past person seems like they really didn't want you doing that they didn't want you away from them in a jealous type of sense and it's more so because they didn't want to see you expand over them. So whoever you're meeting, this person's going to genuinely support you. 555 five, five on the reading. Could be seeing that number a lot. This person's going to be all about building a legacy with you. And most importantly, this person's going to be your backbone. <clears throat> it's like <clears throat> whenever you are not able to say yes or put yourself out there, you feel a little bit less confident or shy or... You know just like a natural fear or anxiousness about trying something new or doing something big for your career this person that's coming in is going to give you that confidence <clears throat> to look at the glasses half full instead of half empty whereas this past person didn't allow you to speak it's kind of funny my throat chakra just got blocked there and you know i've had no problems with it all day and so it really is just like i'm getting that your past person wanted you to hold yourself back especially if you are some type of podcast speaker or comedian or actor actress musician something where you use your voice this past person didn't want you to do that and it's like this new person is going to push you into that and really support you and this new person's really going to be all about showing you the best qualities of yourself and they're going to really project that positive vibe and energy back onto you I'm really getting like a ray of sunshine from this person. They seem like they've been through a lot in their own life. So when it comes to relationships, they just don't mess around. When they find someone they truly connect with, they want to bring the best out in them. They don't want to see them ever down or doubting who they are. And most importantly, like they're going to see that you bring that same energy in as a reciprocal vibe. So you two are really just going to be able to lift each other up and like be the star of each other's lives. This new person you're meeting may be covered in tattoos. If not, you may be. But I really get the sense that the two of you are going to bond over something you both have in common appearance-wise. 
So this could be similar eyes or hair color. For others of you, you could both be really tall. And for some of you, you could have matching tattoos. And if not in the future, it's like this type of partner is going to be the one to be like, let's get matching tattoos. Well, I'm hearing for some of you, they may want to get your name tattooed. Um, something bold of a statement just to let the world know that you are theirs and they are yours. This person definitely is going to want to have a long-term commitment with you. It may be slow to come in, but when it does, they're going to be serious about this connection with you. They're not going to want to waste your time and they're not going to want to feel like their time is wasted. So if they're slow into going into the relationship, it's just because they really like to get to know someone to make sure it's the right move to enter a relationship instead of both of y'all's feelings getting hurt. Now it's funny, right before I put this reading on, out of nowhere, I was guided to listen to My Humps by Black Eyed Peas. Haven't heard that song in years, so I feel like for some of you guys, you have a really fit body, um, something about your backside, your person could be really interested in that, your new person, you could be someone who works out, it's really fit or really like slim thick or even thicker build, and this person's gonna be all about your curves in the best way. Your past person as well could have been someone who was a little more critical on your appearance, expected you to fit a certain mold or look a certain way. And this new person coming in is going to accept you for who you are and like boost you up. Like I'm hearing major hype man, hype woman in the sexiest of ways. Like this person's going to be someone who really just naturally boosts your confidence. And you're going to feel so good about being in a relationship with a person who isn't trying to tear you down every chance they get. This person's just going to appreciate every inch of you um, and every bit of your personality as well, which is most important, you know, for sure. But definitely compared to this past person who could have been a little more critical or made you feel rejected in some senses if you didn't meet their certain standard or criteria, as to what they were looking for in a relationship looks wise. So you could have looked a certain way when you started dating this person and some of you have really evolved. And Spirit's saying you've evolved into an even more beautiful, mature version of yourself. And like, you are just shining, you're glowing right now. But this past person could still have this image stuck in their head of who you used to be. And because you could be so beautiful and glowing or so handsome and glowing, this person feels deeply insecure, your past person. So it's almost like if they ever try to knock your confidence or tell you something off-putting about your appearance, Spirit's saying it's only because they feel insecure about how attractive you become, even more so than you were in the past. So just be aware of that energy because you guys want to be with someone that no matter what you look like, if you look better than them or what they wouldn't consider not as good as them, you know, you want to be with someone who isn't judging you like that regardless. Someone who finds you to be naturally beautiful or handsome no matter how you look. And that is a fact right there. So just know that this new person coming in is really going to lift you up every day of the week, every minute of the week, every hour is what Spirit's saying. So maybe there'll be someone too who's often like the type of person to text you and say, hey gorgeous or hey handsome hey beautiful and maybe in the past you used to get that message from your past person but somewhere along the line they really stopped doing that and that could be a major affirmation for you you guys could really be someone who resonates with loving words of affirmation and physical touch and if your past person started really lacking in that department that could have been where the relationship was fizzling out so it's time to heal as well. If they've said anything hurtful to you in the past about your appearance or not meeting their standards or their level of attractiveness, be allow be allowing to let that go and just heal and overcome. Quit holding on to the past. Just know that this new love is really here to lift you up and to make you feel good about yourself. And it's like this past person is realizing too, almost too little too late, you know, when you walked away from them, that and especially when you get in this new connection that it's like they place you on a pedestal and they always have and it was only their own insecurities that actually got in the way of this connection and made you feel less than and so this past person's really going to regret having done that to you when they see you moving on with someone else but it's almost like it was their lesson to learn that they should have valued you more when they had you beautiful so you're going to feel a new passionate vibe 
and sense of life come out of you as well. New chapters, new relationships. You could be meeting a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. It's a lot of fire energy in these two cards as clarifiers. But this person's going to want to take you out. In the past, your past relationship could have had you leaving um, a lot of question for doubt. Like you were always at home and this person never took you out anywhere, never showed you off on social media, in real life, with friends and family. It's like they never took you out and appreciated you. But this new person, you're never going to be at home, basically is what Spirit's saying. So you're going to spend a lot of time with them, traveling. A lot of you guys will do a lot of vacations overseas or just like different places. This person's going to want to show you off to their family, friends. They're going to want you to be at their house a lot if you guys are in separate places. Um, I'm feeling like this relationship will move fast, though. This person will want you to be closer to them. And you know that emotional instability you felt from the past, that sense of feeling is going to start to dwindle away. It's definitely going to take time to heal and overcome those spirits acknowledging that. So just don't be hard on yourself when it comes to this new connection. Allow yourself to fall into it naturally as well. You could be a little bit younger than this new person you're meeting. So maybe you're going to feel like you need to be on their level right away or be as emotionally available as they are. But because they're older than you, just be honest with the person that where you're coming from. You know, you're coming from a space of still healing from the past. And once you do that, they're really going to be able to connect with you better, first of all. And second of all, it's like you two are just going to be on the same page and literally got that page of cups there. Wow. So letting go of a toxic past relationship that's really going to bring in your abundance at this time and a lot of happy new cycles in your life. So be prepared for this journey. Some of you guys are trying to run away from new love because you feel like you're not ready to give to a new connection. But, you know, Spirit's saying this new person's going to be understanding of your past situation and you just have to be willing to take a chance on them, you guys. Move at your own pace, but know that this new person really wants to help heal your heart and they want to help be a support system where in the past you could still be healing from someone who almost just like broke you down or tear you down, you know, instead of really lifting you up like they should have in the connection. And this could have been a long-term relationship from the past, someone you expected to either marry or someone you were married to. And if you were married to them, it makes it even harder, right? Because it's like almost rewriting your whole life, especially if some of you guys were in a connection with this person for like 10 to 20 years. It's like, holy, like how do you overcome all of that and move forward? But you'll be okay. You guys are in good hands. And not only is this new person gonna love you properly, but their whole friends and family, people around them are going to just love you two as a couple. And you guys are really going to shine bright in everyone else's eyes around you. And like I said, this person's never going to want you sat up at home wondering where they are. This person's really going to be like the angel of your life coming in to bring balance and restore that broken heart into one that's unconditionally loved. So I really hope this message could bring some clarity to you guys. The worst of it is over. Just allow that new love to flow in and continue healing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.